as part of the head of St. Honourable Plunkett, and Possel of Ireland, successor to St. Patrick. Today, um, a friend of mine, I think he might be here, um, comes from up the north, where my family come from the south. But we all share the joy of being called sons and daughters of the Apostle of Ireland. He is one of these people that finds the most ridiculous facts out. I think he's marvellous because it's something I enjoy doing too. Only recently I found out that on this day in 1890, a woman I've never met, a woman I look forward to, please God, to meet if I make it to heaven, was born. She's the reason that I stand in front of you today. Her name was Agnes Kane. She worked in a place called Tullinally Castle. She was an orphan. She was a woman that, um, if you've seen Downton Abbey, she was one of the people very much below stairs. But because of her faith, and because of her love, and because of her hope, she met a fella called Patrick Drake. And they married in Delvin Church in County West Meath and went all the way across the border and made a life for themselves just outside Beliver on the Athboy Road. It was there that about 12 children were born, one of them being my grandma Essie. Agnes Kane was my great-grandmother. And it's because of her that our family were booted across the Irish Sea to go and make a life for themselves and to make sure money could be sent back to feed the kids. I never knew my great granny, but I have a picture of her and I've prayed for her since I was a boy. So today on Mother's Day, on Mothering Sunday, when the church looks halfway at the season of Lent, we're reminded in Mother's Day, not just to thank God with flowers or empty in the fields of hope of daffodils, but we're called to remind of where we go back to as Christians. It was on this day in the Lenten journey that people went to the fault, to the place where a new life was given to them in Christ, in baptism. So today we look back in order to look forward, because we look back to where we started in baptism as Christians, to look forward to where we find our hope in Jesus Christ. So today as we look back and think of our earthly mothers and our heavenly mother, the church that brings us to life in baptism, we have to thank God for where we've come from. Today in the Gospel we hear St um, Nicodemus, um, one of those who was a secret admirer of the Lord, a secret disciple, questioning. Right back in John 3, in John 3, 16, if you've ever seen the film 2012, um, just when they were about to announce, the, pre the President of the United States announces that we're all damned and we're all going to end, uh, our lives are going to be ended, there's going to be a great calamity. Um, you see people wearing these um, prophetic badges, the end is nigh. Some of them on the back, 